Have you got a message for the people who've been writing stuff online, guys? Hi, I'm Paul Barry, and that, folks, is Australia's most famous breaker. Rachel Gunn, a.k.a. Ray Gunn. Being chased down a Parisian street by Seven News. Do you think people have been unfair about your performance? And Ray Gunn's crime? Breaking bad. Up against the world's best, the 36-year-old opted for a more creative tack. A creative tack which blew away Olympic judges. Ray Gunn didn't score a single point. You have to ask, was her performance that bad? Well, unfortunately it was. And you know you're in trouble when Sky's Rita Panahi claims... With 100% certainty that I could do better. As she took the piss out of Ray Gunn's day job, which won her a PhD in cultural studies, with obtuse papers about how breaking at the Olympics will impact Australia. Australia's settler colonial structures that rely upon radicalised and gendered hierarchies. Which had Sky's Paul Murray volunteering to mark her thesis. You know, what a wank. I don't care. And the overseas media were also giving her the thumbs down. I think she brought shame to both breakdancing herself and and Australia, frankly. People were saying, is she touching her toes? Is she trying to kick her duvet off at night? <laughs> what is she doing? Meanwhile, the US late shows were gunning her down. John, she was inspiringly terrible. <laughs> With Jimmy Fallon's online parody notching up 45 million, yes, 45 million views. All right, I can do that. That's Hilarious. Everyone is laughing at us. Meanwhile, back home, the PM was having none of it. That's a good thing. And Ray Gunn had a crack. And others in the media were also having a crack at the critics. I love this her. This is not academia. I think she's amazing. She just embodies everything that is Australian culture. We love to laugh at ourselves. I think it's fantastic. As did her fellow Olympians. So, what next for Dr. Reagan? Well, celebrity agent Max Markson and marketing whiz Dee Madigan reckon her fame is so big she could soon be making millions from endorsements, public speaking and reality TV appearances. Yes, the world is that crazy. But her biggest legacy could be her quirky dance moves. I mean, the kangaroo hop was sort of weird. Oh, that is iconic. That is and then iconic. The, and then the Joanna yeah. thing. That's going to be our new nut bush. <laughs> and we all know how much we love the nut bush.